Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hypermind modded server. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, I've been doing things. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, there's been progress. I should not sing. So I decided to do some work. Uh, obviously last time we had the macerator and... Uh, oh, that's good, I need that. The electric furnace set up, and the generator was here. Not generator anymore, it's an extractor. That's so I can get some rubber. Not so rather, because I've been making more things. So the main things my supplies be going to the spat box, which is storing my energy, which means that uh, nothing's going to be wasted. And the reason I built a bat box when I was just using the generator, which is now up here. You're back. Hello. You come to greet my episode again. Little bastard, get out of here. But yeah, the reason I decided to put in the bat box, get back here. What is on fire on top of that tree? You just... Ooh. No, it's dead now. But, um... Yeah, I built some solar panels to get me some free energy. And they're just up here. So they're charging the bat box. I can't tell if we're... I think we're about even. With the power, and it's just the macerator running. So that's good. Um, because we have... We don't have grid tech on. So to make a solar panel is quite easy, actually. I was thinking about making the low voltage solar array, which is basically eight times as powerful, but I don't have that much iron, which is why I haven't done that. Uh, this wrench, just so I could move things about. But um, I've come up with a build I'm working on, so I'm going to go up to there. And I'm going to show you what it is. It's so basically, as I said before, I'm going to basically slowly destroy this area from making it look really nice to really ugly. And this is basically going to be the start of it. And I completely forgot that I need to make a um, an axe because my force claw broke. I found out it can break it can break stone, like stone bricks. It can break coal. I think the only thing it can't really break is the modded things to a strength similar to stone or iron. I can't remember which. So I was using that to um, dig a little passage down to bedrock, or well not quite bedrock level. That's because I needed some more redstone. So I've got the starts of a little strip mine going on down there, which I will maybe show you. I just need to clear these trees out of the way so I can get working on this factory. Because um, you can see I'm starting to build machines, so I've got things sticking up in the way. I don't like that, so we need to get rid of these trees so I have room. I decided to start up here because it's one of the flattest sections of land and this is probably going to be I'm probably going to section off each part of the factory and since this is the first one it'll probably be my power generator so we've got quite a big area to work with you can see I've already started laying out the groundwork so how I want it to go is going to need the following blocks on my bar stone, borderless glass and limestone with panel so I found out uh, what should some of the other guys on the server about this mod called chisel now something so if I just search chisel you'll see what I mean actually chisel you get all these different blocks and they're all in the chisel mod and they look really cool some of them like light obsidian block which Greek decor and I was like wow they look really cool but I couldn't work out again because you click them you don't get any recipe but I made this chisel oddly enough, so you right click it, you get this screen and then you take your block, put it in the middle and you get to choose any of these and it's free to craft into this, so I'm going to take some more borderless glass so that is really awesome, right this needs to come up two blocks high for what I'm doing, it's going for quite a big build actually let's only, let's keep mm, yeah, let's keep this two blocks high for the design I want, so let's just get through here so this is basically how the factory is going to look. It's going to be a lot of um, stone style things. What can I make stone into using the chisel actually? I haven't actually checked. Oh cool, I can make it into like the chiseled stone, snake block head. That stone panel might be quite nice for this. Because hmm, that would be even smoother. So let's have a look what that looks like. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so we're gonna change it all to be that stuff. Cause oh look, it even even uh, unhighlights itself. So that is nice. We're gonna use that one. 
And the chisel doesn't even take durability damage, so you know, it's kind of a free mod if that makes sense. So just gonna clear this out. And um yeah, I was watching Zuljin's video. He's um he's on the server now as well. So we got him on. Um and he's pointed out something, you know, not to me or anything, but he just said something that made me think, hmm, that's a good point. Is that Feed the Beast is really good for the machines and everything, but it's also really good for builders because you obviously get all these extra blocks. I mean, just, just look at Chisel and you can see what's going on. Um, so yeah, that's really good for people who want to do stuff like that. I came up here for dirt, that's what I came for. Um, so I thought, yeah, that's a good point, because in all my other Hypermind series I've done, I've been mainly focused on the machine side, and, and um, this time I want to move away from that slightly. Oh, yeah, obviously it's a factory, so there's going to be machines, that's given. But I want the main focus to be me building this, um, what should I say, industrial area with uh, factories and things like that. So I've just think, look at these blocks, they're lovely. So I'm going to make a load more, because I've got a stack of, um, whoops, you're not meant to come out yet. We have a stack of um, stone there, so I need the smooth one. Bam. Oh, it's just awesome. And I'm going to replace all this. This um, factory is going to be full of windows, so we can see out, but they're going to be raised up so you can't see all the inner workings that's going on. So let's do that. I just really like this stone. Right, so I'll quickly finish up. We'll do one side because I don't want to just replace all this on camera. So let's hop up. And the design I wanted to go for was we're going to go free high and we're going to use this limestone as an edging. Then between there, we're going to use this glass. Now this is borderless glass, so it has a border. But you put it together, no border. So I really like that. And uh, we're just going to go up like so. I need to replace, nope, not you. I need that back. I need to replace these ones I've just realized for what I'm doing. So let's do this. So we go up like that. I don't have any torches to put in there at the moment. And let's go, how high do we want the windows? Let's say four. Just one, two, three four because I want it, the floors to be quite big so one two three four like so I don't have enough limestone to quite finish because what will happen is there will be another line of um, limestone there then we come up and this will come across like so we hop down here take a bit of damage but well there we go, that will come up here and the same round all the sides. So let's jump down. So that's going to look quite cool when we get all of this done. I'd probably pick the worst side to actually do a demo on. So let's just jump across to here. You can see how it's going to look. I think I've done something wrong because I'm working off a slight reference. I know, that's, that's right. I think it'll look better when I have uh, the floor stacked up. So I need to go get some limestone and some more clean stone obviously but obviously the, I keep saying obviously but they're not the hardest thing to get so shouldn't be too hard right I'm going to move my machines up here I'm going to cut away and um, yeah I'll be back once I have some work done so I'll see you in a minute okay everyone welcome back it's um actually been a couple of days since I left off um, with the building project and um yeah, been busy. Not so much as a Minecraft, well, a bit of Minecraft, but mostly in real life. I just had a very busy weekend at work. One of those, uh, anything that can go wrong will go wrong sort of days, so I don't really have any time to do much recording per se. I did a bit of work off camera, as I said I would, to get the building done. I put these over here. I think these only go in the dark. These are the um, concentrated essence berries, which give experience, which is very nice. It's very nice. Uh, I also managed to get quite a bit of experience just from 
caving in general because we've been doing some strip mining. So I got myself, I think it's in here. Nope, in here. There it is. I got myself an Unbreaking 2 Fortune 3 pick because um, we have a better enchanting table on the server. So that helped me get 23 diamonds in my strip mine, which is awesome. So uh, I've been working on making some more stuff and uh, what I need to build now is some engine. We need a couple of, this could be impossible to find isn't it, do these even exist in this pack? Redstone engine, there we go, that's what I need to make, so that's not too complicated, just some gears and two pistons, so I'm going to need two of those. And yes, I will unveil what I've built in a minute. I'm just uh, deliberately teasing. <laughs> Alright, so where's my chisel? I found out the chisel is meant to take durability damage, but mine doesn't for some reason, so don't know what's going on there. So you can see, I've been using some different tile types, so I just want to get that all back to normal. And I need to get a little bit of uh, wood from the chest to make the um, gears with. I also need two bits of glass. I found out with this forge furnace, the cool thing, well one of the cool things with it is if you put a chest next to it, it will automatically drop things into that chest, so that's pretty cool. I need a couple of bits of redstone as well. So quickly make up the pistons, like a soul. Should be fairly easy to remember. Then I'm going to need two uh, gears like that and there's a whittle, it's whittle on the top okay so you can see the glass is gone, it's in here and then we need two whittle on the top, well three whittle on the top I'm going to need two of it so that's good, I've got just enough I just realised I've only made half as much gears as I need to so that's one and we can have two sets of gears nice and quick. No need to mess around with these ones. There's two gears, the piston, the glass and the wood. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to need a couple of levers as well just to turn these on. I don't really foresee me needing to turn them off so we're going to put that underneath where they're going to go. So now we can go up and actually look at the factory. Huzzah! So I spent a while doing it looked for a few designs that came up with this and this is just one wing of the factory I'm gonna say so let's quickly jump over here get a good vantage point there you go so this uh, this section is two floors high made with smooth stone, limestone and clear glass I still haven't finished the clear glass but that's because I want to make a um, what's it called a coal coke engine Coke furnace or something like that. Coke oven, that's the one. I need to make a coke oven first before I uh, finish the glass off. So that's one of the sounds going. The one issue is I've got this gaping hole where it's going to connect to the rest of the building. You can see I've moved everything over here. We have uh, we've got my macerator, and we've got my furnace, and then we have the extractor. So, what I need to do is I do need to make a third one for this, but couldn't be bothered to do that yet. So I just need to take out a couple of these blocks, dig that out, lever goes there, turn it on, oops, engine goes there, it should be on, yep, and then rinse repeat. So lever on, engine on, then I need the arranged marble tiles which are cool because that's how they look like on their own and when you join them to another one they sort of do this tile pattern which I really like so they should be pumping away very good I quickly go grab some uh, ore because I may as well use it because I still got a lot of stuff hello elephant hello to you too apparently so uh, let's see what ore have I got a lot of I've got a load of copper so let's go smelt that I'll probably end up making some sort of hopper to feed into these so I can just leave it be but I just want to check my power supply because power supply is on the second floor now 
I haven't made an easy well I, I've made an easy way up there which is just this ladder goes up the side like so Six, yeah, I haven't finished the windows yet but and we got two solar panels on the roof and a generator here just for emergencies if I need an extra boost so this is sort of going to be the power floor the second floor where like stuff's generated and things but I don't want the way up to be just going from down here to up here I want there to be something in the main building which is probably going to be on this layer here when I eventually do flatten it out because I'm going to do quite a bit of flattening for a second I thought, ah, oh, it's quite flat and it's raised from this bit which is a bit awkward so I mean I could extend this on a bit further to get it to join up and then go up in some way so it doesn't have to all be on the same floor it'd just be a lot easier if it was <laughs> But yeah, it's just a matter of me working out what's going where. So you see I used, um, this is a type of cobblestone, and that's two types of cobblestone using the chisel. It gives that cool sort of effect, which I quite like, especially these bits, because they look um, beveled or whatever the word is. Beveled. So yeah, uh, I just want to check the stuff's pumping out. Okay, it's about to finish. Make some dust. Yeah, 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 okay, it's going in. So I could have made a gun straight into the furnace, but I don't want to do that in case I'm crushing stuff that um, I don't want to go in there, basically. So I did make some extra pipes for moving things over, but I'm not too worried about that for now. Um, it's probably going to be a bit of a shorter episode today. I just noticed that that has a gap, which is quite good that I got an extra one probably a shorter episode today like I said because I've just had a very busy weekend um, and it's been a while with me getting this out to you I really need a roof on this wasps have killed me so many times but yeah I quite like how that looks um, when we get some pipes and stuff running through I think it's gonna look cool I need to farm some more sand and clay because at the moment all I've been doing to get um, sand is masonry and cobble so not the best way of doing things and I think, let's see, so I need 4, 9, 18, 27, 26, uh, 26 times 4 is over 100 so I need more bricks as well before I can make my coke oven, but yeah, that should help me a lot because at the moment I'm burning through quite a bit of coal, I'm also burning through quite a bit of food but I'm finally getting sorted with food. I built this expanded farm and I was like, ah, I need more food. So I built this nice big one. Pretty much only to get barley from because there's no point in me having wheat and barley. Uh, I think barley, barley seems to grow quicker. I'm not sure if it does or not. But that's what it feels like to me. Probably can't be used to like feeding animals and stuff though. So that's probably the down side of it. But it doesn't really matter when I can just I'm just eating bread. I need to get a farm really, but I've got to think of a way to have farming related things in a giant horrible <laughs> factory. <laughs> That's the challenge. Let's turn this all into bread. There we go. Let's all top that up. So there we go. Uh, the forge furnace is quite nice actually for when I don't want to use my power stuff. Obviously when I switch to using powered stuff, um, well, when I have a good supply of energy, anyway. Um, why is that not funny? It's really it's a forge furnace. Force. Force, not force. There we go. There we go. So I want to see if you can use a force furnace for anything. So I can make it into a force generator. Or obviously just change the colour to anything else which I'm not going to bother with ah, force grinding yeah I could pretty much turn it into a generator but I have my own generator up there and we're not going to get into another form of power I think we've got enough for now um, anything else to go over today before I go let's see quick look from my bags or my chests even I need to build a storage area so that will probably be the next part of the um, factory I build. I expect I'm going to keep with the same theme of the, um, the stone the, and the limestone 
all the way around whatever I do so you know it will all look encompassed in the same sort of block so hopefully I can expand that we'll probably move it out we need the storage area in a sort of central facility so probably up here because I'm thinking if we have storage here it's not too far from whatever that's going to be because obviously that's going to be the power generator that's going to be something else so it's not going to be too far from that and I think about having the main entranceway somewhere over here so it's going to be quite a big build you know, I want it to take proper time to run through but if I maybe put an entranceway here or something to do with this little valley I'll work something out but yeah um, I'll leave it here are you actually coming for me? you are, you go away go away raw rat um num num <laughs> so yeah I'll head off for now because I've got to do some stuff today operation Yuck. but um yeah hopefully you guys are okay with the weight like I said in the la uh, that's hypercraft I said then uh, due to my busy work schedule I can't upload anywhere as much as I'd like so not much I can do about that I'm afraid hope you guys can give me but I'll see you next time for some more well, I was going to say Feed the Beast, but it's modded Minecraft. Toodles!